presently, there are few conflicts as well publicized as the crisis in the Middle East, particularly the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The basis of this conflict is that two groups of historically displaced people are fighting for what they both claim to be their homeland, Israel. The Oxford English Dictionary defines displacement as the removal of a thing from its place, putting out of place, shifting, dislocation. Jewish displacement, or diaspora, began in the 8th through 6th centuries BC and has resulted in the Jews searching for settlement. Settlement, on the other hand, is defined as the act of settling oneself or state of being settled in a fixed place or position in a permanent abode. The Jews' quest for settlement became destined for success following the Balfour Declaration in 1917. Following World War II, Israel declared its independence, which created the only Jewish state in the world. While this was an exciting event for Jews, who classified themselves as Israelis, it had a plethora of consequences for the previous inhabitants, the Palestinians. Thus, the formerly settled Palestinians became displaced, while the former Israelis became settled. While Israel and Palestine are the same place, each name represents settlement for two different ethnic groups. The establishment of Israel as a Jewish state in 1948 can be pinpointed as the time where each group becomes either settled or displaced. Therefore, displacement can be broken up into two parts, Jewish displacement before 1948 and Palestinian displacement after 1948. One of the consequences of displacement is a loss of identity. This can be seen when examining the Spanish Inquisition. Because Jews were not allowed to practice Judaism in Spain, they were kicked out of the country. This made it difficult for Jews to establish a place they could call home. In his essay, States, Edward said describes displacement's effect on the Palestinian identity. He writes, Identity, who we are, where we come from, what we are, is difficult to maintain in exile. This means that Palestinians have no identity because they have no home and a main part of what one's identity is, is where they're from. For Palestinians, Palestine is home. But because Palestine no longer exists, an identity crisis for the Palestinian ensues. Unfortunately for Palestinians and Israelis alike, it is impossible to have both groups settled at once. Therefore, identities for both groups may never be established simultaneously. Said affirms this idea when he writes, continuity for them, the dominant population, Discontinuity for us, the dispossessed and dispersed. Although them refers to Israelis in this quote, it could also be referred to Palestinians before the establishment of Israel. While the current Palestinian plight documents displacement, the current Israeli plight documents settlement. On May 14, 1948, Israel declared its independence. On that same day, David Ben-Gurion stated, the state of Israel will be open to the immigration of Jews from all countries of their dispersion. At this moment, the Jewish people attained an identity. The establishment of a homeland effectively replaced the displacement Jews had felt for centuries with a newfound sense of settlement. Even though the Israelis have achieved settlement, the struggle to maintain said settlement will persevere. Contrarily, the Palestinian struggle to fight off displacement and achieve settlement persists. Unfortunately, for both the Israelis and Palestinians, it is improbable for both groups to be settled at the same time. Therefore, displacement will likely continue to exist forever.